marriage prospects. Data released by the Census Bureau in 1986 indicated the likelihood that never married women would eventually marry. The data indicated that the older the woman, the less the likelihood of marriage. Specifically, two statistics indicated that women who were 45 years old and, and never married had an 18% 18, 18 chance of marriage. And women 25 years old had a 78% chance of marriage. Assume that a linear fit to these two data points provides a reasonable approximation for the function p equals f of a, where p equals the probability of marriage, and a equals the age of never married woman. So they want us to determine the linear function p equals f of a, interpret the slope and p intercept, do the, re do the values in part b seem reasonable? And if the restricted domain on this function is a is greater or equal to 20 and less than or equal to 50, then determine f of 20, f of 30, f of 40, and f of 50. So A determine the um, um, function. So P equals f of A. So they give us two points, 45 and 18, and 25 and 78. So first we have to find the um, slope y squared minus y1, y2 minus y1 equal over x2 minus x1. So we label this one to be the point 1 and this one point 2. So now we have 78 y2 minus 18 over 25 minus 45. So this is equal to 60 over negative 20. And this is equal to negative 3. Now the um, generic equation for linear function or linear equation is y equals mx plus b. So we found the um, slope to be minus 3. So m is equal to minus 3. Now we have to find b. So we chose this um, point. So y is 18 and x is equal to 45. So we plug that in. And then we multiply minus 3 times 45, 135. And then we add plus 35 to both sides of the equation. And then we get B is equal to 153. So Y is equal to M. So this is Y equals MX plus B. So M is equal to minus 3, X plus 153. So now they want us to use the P and um, a so p is equal to minus 3a plus 153 so this is the answer for a now b the slope they want us to interpret the slope and p intercept so the slope is minus 3 so this means that there is a minus 3 percent chance of every woman who are never married that she will um she will eventually eventually um, getting married and this is per year and p intercept is 153 so this means that at age zero there is a 153 percent chance of getting married but um this is not um physically um um true because um at age zero you don't get um you don't get married and the percent cannot be more than 100. So C, do the um, values in part B seem reasonable? Um, in reality, it is not um, reasonable because um, um, obviously you cannot get married at age zero. And, but it is um, mathematically um, correct. And then, um, D, if the restricted um, domain on this function is A greater or equal to 20 and less than or equal to 50, then they want us to determine F of 20. So this means that we have to plug in those numbers into the equation. So we have this, so we have D. So we have P equals minus 3A plus 153. And P of 20, so they want us to do 
20. So, minus 3 times 20 plus 153. So, this is equal to... So, 3 times... So, minus 60 plus 153, it's equal to... Ninety-three, and then P of um, thirty is equal to minus three times thirty plus one hundred fifty-three. So this is minus ninety plus one fifty-three. So it's equal to um sixty-three. And then P of 40 so this is equal to 120 um, 120 minus 123 153 so so this is 33 and then P of 50 So minus 150 plus 153 and this is um, 3. <coughs> so this is um, D.